Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. This is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough. We just defeated the Gi Natak boss, and now we have. Why is it wet? Sorry. The forehead is here to uh, play a whole bunch more. We're in Cosmo King with Red and Barrett and Boogenhagen. Now we get to go get the Watcher's Verdict. The ground was very moist. I guess we're in a cave. It happens, condensation and whatnot, but... This is totally going to be that scene. The Watcher of the Veil vale fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. Mm. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the veil once more. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Nanaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. Hmm. Hmm. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto, protector of our veil. Vale. 
of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. That was... Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> No, this one's free. Within that piece flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Our world is filled with wonders. I bid you seek them out. Don't you have a potion to remove petrification? Yeah, but how are we going to get all the way up there? Also, I'm pretty sure the gameplay of the... Was it Echo Mist potion? No, Maiden's Kiss to remove petrification probably has to do within a certain time frame. And Seto's been up there for 45 years. I don't know if it would still work. Barrett has a cannon for an arm. He did just cry. That's true. We will escort fellow Bugenhagen back home. Take care, friends. Please look after Nanaki for us. Blessings of the planet be upon you all. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared out of my wits here. Hmm. I don't know. This he dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The gee lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> <laughs> longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Hmm. 
It's got big fairy man vibes, yes. Also, a little Willy Wonka energy. Uh, Maybe try swaying with the rocking of the boat. I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. For the third time she's done that? The whole raise my raises her hand. <laughs> it's so goofy. So there I am oh. on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking this is it, this is how it ends. Only it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. It's because you're dead, boys. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So... How's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. 
shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about, about the same cloud? Come on, the down, the guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A sack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. I don't think about it. Zack of all trades, I'm gonna hurl. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off pedal lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. <laughs> but idiots are what we need right now. Folks who will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Kinda wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like, a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. These days, My internal clock's busted. Sleep, yeah, mine too. All the things I wish I'd done What's that about me? anyway? <laughs> Good question. So... What do you think's gonna happen to our baby? Don't know. Now I'm just on my own. Okay. Let's get the We've got freebies galore! Let's make it oh. Treat you and yours to something you know, special. But remember, mm -hmm. only one per person. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like the I guy who only has to worry to about the how. And it doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? You were the guy with uh, Aerith, right? Whoever brought you back, I guess? What do you I'm assuming there was someone? Who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want! Start by robbing folks and stocking It's up just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, see, this is making sense. Kiri is not uh, dead. As if I'd ever join Avalanche. What the heck? I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. 
Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. This whole Zack plot and how it's gonna connect is very weird. If they're not dead and they're actually in Midgar, if they were pulled away to some weird split dimension made by the whispers and fate and the planet, whatever the heck going on, I don't know. Hopefully it connects well and isn't just some contrived anime. Higgledy piggledy, we'll see. Whoa. Because obviously this is not in the original game at all. There is no Zack in the original game. There's stories of him and stuff, but there's none of this. This is all new to the remake. So I have no idea. Because see, this version also doesn't have any flowers. There's no Aerith flowers here. Hmm. I mean, we'll find out. We keep playing, obviously, but... Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. <laughs> Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. Uh. me the wind that was you wasn't it hello in there We've arrived. 
survived. of the game. Oh, put this convenient bench, folio adjuster, and shop here. In an ancient, super underground, subterranean ghost village. <laughs> yeah, so okay, so what did that mean? I just hope it's not like everything we're doing out here in this reality is like the fake one and Zach's in the real one. Or like we're all inside of Aerith's holy materia or something and then... This is going to be an Aerith stick, I imagine. Called it. She's had this rod since like <laughs> chapter five. This is the Mind Flayer stick. Hmm. Loses materia slots. This is ATB ward though. Two are the most least important. Oh god, that's right. Kate's got two different horns to level up. I might do that on open world stuff. We're very much story pilled right now. ATB ward is crazy. It looks smaller? Fill ATB charges within the ward to increase your allies. Makes me think. So it's her version of ATB assist. Has there been any indications of any version being fake or something? Well, Kyrie isn't dead that we know of, so that kind of ruined the whole, that's like a weird fate broken away dead place. Also, Marlene and um, Aerith's mom are there, her adoptive mom, right? And we have no indication that they're dead. We thought that Biggs was dead, which is what gave rise to that as well as Zach but obviously considering that those events could have taken place after we defeated destined fate at the end of the first game but that was you know way after the stuff with the stuff with Biggs and it was weird I don't know hope I hope it's just not just some weird contrivance but they're like in a materia sphere or something and I don't know I don't know I don't know what it is yet Because the other thing about it being fake is that why is there another Aerith and why is there another cloud? Everyone else is a singular entity. But going off of what we know in the previous game, the original, cloud being dead at some point makes sense because of 
soldier training. And in the original, Aerith does die at the Forbidden Pools or whatever the zone was originally called. So that's why it's weird. But then again, the whispers, the fates, whispers, the things that I'm thinking of is that they whisk away important people to safety. Safety being relative, considering they're still in Midgar. And they are impersonating them, but we all saw Red dead in the helicopter too. There was a dead Nanaki in the helicopter. Cloud's in a coma. Aerith's in a coma. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. So it's just a lot that is not in the original, so it's just kind of very much interpretation mode right now. Exactly. So also Jesse isn't important. Nope. I was thinking they can't be the same version. I was thinking that it was a split in in the in like destined timelines because of what we did at the end of Rebirth. That's what I was thinking. It was it was a split, essentially. And then essentially it's just you know it's like string theory. Those two the the time they you know, watch have you ever watched Loki? The like the only really good Disney Plus show outside of WandaVision? <laughs> Um, the timeline split into two and diverged when we defeated Destiny at the end of the first game. Not all the timeline stuff lines up, though. Because why would they have saved Biggs? Biggs would have been dead days to weeks before, based on the timeline of the game. Because that happened early in the in the game, right? And also, when Zack was coming back to Midgar, he was carrying Cloud. So why would there be another Cloud, you know? That's all. These are just the questions that we don't have answers to yet. Are you on? Oh, you would need to go to Sol Oh, wait, Road Warrior? Really? Fifty twenty-three. Oh, she had a special one. These are all just side grades at this moment. And then Red had his special stuff he got from doing his trial. Yeah, you're in an entire zone that isn't even as much as mentioned in the original. Oh, the whole area of the Gi right now? Yeah. Also a question of Biggs and Zack talking about Cloud from two different times. True. Seems like Biggs got teleported into a different version of the plate support pillar just before it went down. Also true. When the, the cutscene and the swirliness, it was obviously on fire and it was the one that Shinner was assaulting. And then when it snapped away... He was fine. I mean, Dalthy, aren't you done with the story by this point? Or are you still not? Obviously, you're not going to say anything and spoil anything. I was just curious. 
as of last night you finished the game very cool yeah i still have a lot left y'all hear that just now our flesh is gone yet our spirits are condemned to linger outsiders such as we are unwelcome forever denied the planet's embrace <sighs> i feel for you can only imagine how tough that's been my kin now dwell within these effigies i beseech you lend them your ears long has it been since they have had an audience not bound to the planet and so she rejects them because you have to come from the life stream to return to it which means these dudes can't die right <laughs> they're invincible i'm not sure that's something to celebrate being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death as if you know anything about dying uh, i mean are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. I wonder if we're going to get more of Kate's story or if that's going to be waited until the last game. It's funny that Yuffie asks the question. I got beat up. Yeah. Oh, well, you can you can tell if you need to assess. You hit, click the middle pad, right? Click the the big button in the middle, and if they don't have the magnifying glass at their name panel at the top of the screen as well, that means you haven't assessed them either. Yeah. Question. It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. Materia, you mean? We long to lay hands on the materia of peace. Yeah, well, the magnifying glass is, is the same thing if you go to enemy intel. Magnifying glass means you have scanned. No magnifying glass means you haven't. And on any enemy you ever top of the screen magnifying glass if the magnifying glass is there you've scanned them which means but no anytime you fight that enemy if you hit the middle button you can see their stuff 
You don't have to assess again to get that menu up. Yeah. Mm hmm. I've missed some when my party was split. There were, like, you know, things I didn't have cloud or didn't have, uh. Didn't move my materia. It's fine. I mean, it's gonna be another playthrough after this anyway, so. See? Didn't scan, you just go into this menu. Because they always have question mark health because they are. The health values are never the same. At least, not. I'm not playing on dynamic, but you don't know their health unless you assess, but you'll know all their stuff. Yeah. What is happening over there? Go on. Here he comes. I'm getting messed up. That's what's happening. You can do it. All set. Okay. You watch me. Oh, it's getting very messed up. Did you not do hard mode in in the the in remake? There is but one thing that can deliver unto us ultimate salvation, and that is materia. So an ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me. In the materia of peace, we shall find the end. I mean, I'm almost done with my hard mode remake playthrough. I couldn't finish it before this game came out. When the last two chapters, so did all the hard mode um, combat simulator stuff, like Vice and everything. But no, yeah, I mean, you could just start back over again at chapter one on hard mode, but I'm probably going to take chapter selection to a certain chapter where you just farm out all your levels and farm out all your materia. So you don't have to worry about leveling or materia during your hard mode playthrough. You just do it all level 70 with max level materia. It, there was a, one of the chapters in remake where you were assaulting or breaking into the Shinra tower. And if you, you did that with magnified materia with Viraga and you just spammed it on every trash pack. I did that so many times, probably 15, 16 times. Not only to level every character to max level in Remake, but also to level a bunch of Materia. And I would still need to do another few dozen of those runs to level, like, Elemental to the final stage on a separate one because they're desynced. So the first one you get is leveled, but the second one you get isn't. Or, like, get another Arise Materia leveled up all the way or something like that. Yeah. So you don't have to go through an order. You chapter select to one that you can fight a lot, and then you save and then you redo it and you save and you redo it and you save and you redo it i don't know what one is good in rebirth where you just start off the chapter and can go do a bunch of combat quickly to get a bunch of xp i'm sure the community's already figured that one out but yeah i think you just that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sort of farm to max level max out a whole bunch of materia make some builds that are finalized and not worry about it and then just start the Hard mode play through that way. Our ultimate salvation is cessation. It is nothingness. Our wish is not to exist, but rather to no longer exist. Ultimate salvation is nothingness? Okay. In the purest of materia, we place our hope. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I experienced everything in Remake except two chapters on hard mode. And it was... This game will definitely be more difficult. I imagine Chakra and Prayer 
are going to be way more valuable because the chapters in remake are not as long some of these chapters are super long but in hard mode in rebirth i don't think you're really going to need to do a lot of the side quest stuff so you're not going to waste resources on field stuff i don't think the same way because it'll all be done unless there's a reason to do that in hard mode again and i'll find that out when i get there because i'm assuming you can't use items in hard mode just like you couldn't couldn't in remake and benches don't give you back mana Oh, when you select, when you do chapter select in Rebirth, you can choose to reset side quests or not. I guess that it depends on collecting folios then, because the big thing about Remake Hard Mode is that you basically have to full clear everything again, because some of the side quests give you manuals to give you the skill points for your weapons. So to max out your best weapon, which for almost every single person is their original weapon, awkwardly, to max out all your weapons, you need to do a bunch of side quests or like redo Colosseum challenges or something like that. Or mostly it's new challenges. Like I said, I did all the hard mode simulators in remake hard mode, some of which took me a while. Like doing the vice hardest combat in remake was like fighting Melania again for the first time. It took like two and a half hours to do it. I tried multiple different strats though, so. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't? Let the planet have it! Save uh, me! Sure. Hmm. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more. Oh, goody. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Go on, you're fine. 
only one, right? Yeah. annoying. Thanks, Cloud. Way to contribute. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Oh, wait, I'm on mixed. Whatever. I was on mist. Mist and mixed. Only high potions, anyway. just came from yeah okay that's before the cutscene not born of the life stream can never join its flow one cannot return to that from which one did not arise and so our souls sought refuge here yet idleness brought no solace our days a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence and now our only wish is to be freed from this prison to be granted true release some red lyrium energy going on right now. of materia a most sacred treasure and imbued it with our desire for freedom after an eternity the materia began to stir and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain.
Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. Mm. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Mm -hmm. huh? Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Sure. Uh, I guess we're back. <laughs> yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're going to give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? Uh, no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! Yeah, I don't think you want that materia, Yuffie. Just a hunch. Or a thought. Hmm. So, Kitsu, I gotta ask. How do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Hmm. <laughs> old Boogie!
Yeah, just slot it in, maybe cast it, should be fine. Okay, well. might have returned to the planet oh come on we both know you didn't need to worry about me after all i am the son of seto the watcher forgive me but if i recall correctly shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in cosmo canyon so where is it oh well, what did become of that thing ah yes now i remember <laughs> I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. <laughs> some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Mm. Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. That city fast travel when the city hubs are that big. <laughs> the workings of our planet are most fascinating, no? There it is. Situations like this with music recall is interesting. Is it is it that certain songs in Final Fantasy VII are just in my blood because of growing up with them? Nostalgia? And I was like, what, 12, 13 when this game first came out? PlayStation 1 back in the day? Or are the, are the songs just that good that you don't need to have the nostalgia connection? You just realize that the songs are just that good, that iconic. They hit that, that note. There's so many bangers in, in this, this game's world. And they've made new ones too. That didn't exist in the original. Man, I still think my favorite song so far is the, uh, the climbing of, uh, Mount Corel. God, that song was good. Both, let's be honest, both. And it feels different when Rebirth uses new songs and they do honestly feel out of place. Well, I even felt there's been a couple of different orchestrations with a few different moments that have felt just like new. I didn't have like, I was like, hmm. But I don't know how much of it is brand new because a lot of them are just rebuilds from the original soundtrack. That robed man is at the village gate. One of my colleagues is tending to him for now. 
Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Oh, faster over back there. No reason to run all the way back. Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Ain't that... Artifa and I grew up. Oh! Of course! Nibelheim has a terminal. I bet my whiskers on it. It does. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. <laughs> Hi. Well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Time to call Sid again. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Oh. Side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. What happened is well, not just proto relic time, I heard the people but now it's probably side quest and explore the rest of Cosmo Canyon time. Even though, can we not do the northern section still yet? I'm assuming we can't go to the spirit wastes, but we can go south. Looks like we couldn't finish Corral. Because we couldn't go in here yet. We do have... A robot to duel as well. You just worry about getting to Nibelheim. I can look after him. Oh, you can get to the northern section too? No, I haven't done the piano yet. Uh, I think it's the only last thing here that I would be able to... Well, let's pick up the side quest on the bounty board. Because we've got weapons to perfect and... I basically came to Cosmo King and it didn't do a lot of the side stuff. I kind of just like did the glide to Chocobo and then came right here. So we have a lot of the zone and I'm assuming we can do all, if not most of it now, if it's open. Hagen's request. Ours is the most stored so the concert at the Royal Coast. Alrighty. If you're watching live, you get to suffer for a moment. If you're watching on YouTube, 
see on the other side of the piano nonsense. Can't put pianos in the YouTube video cuts because of they all get hit with copyright. Yay. Hold on. I hit the wrong button. All right. Well, I don't know how many tries that took. Five, six, seven different tries, but we're there. YouTube viewers. We got it by 90 points. And that's good enough for me. Because I'm not here to perfect all these songs because you don't get anything for it. Not that it wouldn't be cool to do so, but I also don't care. <laughs> How may I be of service to you? Hello, teleporting old man. A disempowerment materia? Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Yeah, I gotta swap hate in here, I think. We're gonna go do open world stuff for a while. This boy needs time to work on his megaphones. Right, disempowerment is the what, defaith, debrave, right? Yeah. That one was just two starred, though. I don't have to level it up anymore if I don't want to. If only I too could ride the wind and. Alright. the world. We have to. One of the side quests is to talk to Boogie. I assume he could probably just fast travel upstairs. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? I think he's right here. Okay. This is the other one. Such ill omens are by no means a rare occurrence. Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Mm. Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Scarner? Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you Polaroid? can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, Gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. <laughs> Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. This game is still so weird. That was a really moving speech. 
the blending of all the new technology. We're in a freaking canyon on wooden structures. This man hands me a Polaroid camera. Calls it a celestiograph. Uh, yeah. Can we just go up? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Oh, is he not here? Oh, yes, he is. Okay. for field work. Hadn't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But where? Field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. <laughs> Treating me like I'm some invalid? Why, I'm the very picture of help. <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should take you off of the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> Something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are beautiful. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. All right. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. Your Stuff. 
A long way down, Cloud. Twice. Okay. Hey, I have to use a summon and then use Moogle magic while the summon is out to finish off an enemy it just uses is it a different ability is it specifically a different ability that isn't normally available on a summon Summon does he have? He has Kujata, which takes two ATB.
Welcome back home, R4. Oh. oh, they're all brown and dusty. Hey, why are the Choco Chicks in this area, like, brown and dusty, but the Choco Bows from this area are turquoise? I guess they grow into their turquoise feathers, I guess. Ear scratches. Chin scratches. Summon in regular combat, so it has to be a, like a challenge combat. Photo spots way up there. Like you get Loy back around or something.
I was double checking. As I'm recording and streaming this live, the uh, big easy anti cheat hack compromise is going on. So just reading what people were posting if uh, anything new had been discovered. Summon Ifrit while we're fighting it. Because if it doesn't summon Ifrit on us, then. Hmm. I have to fly down to this one. Find uh go up here. What's the point of that? It doesn't take us anywhere. big fans to go to the other little ones. Like the there, I guess. Those are too high. to this. Figure that out later, I guess. Just you all in a day's work. 
Probably need to have limit siphon on someone then, huh? Will that even be enough? If we get to like a third each, then maybe? I don't know. Summon on these. Hmm. You're as good as dead. Good stopping place. We had a lot. Really? Oh, it's on the ledge below. Got a lot done on this one. Been watching live, of course. Thank you for tuning in live. You can come by and watch live if you want to see everything, like my struggles on the piano. Or, of course, thank you for watching on YouTube. There are plenty of other long form playthroughs if you'd like. Got all three Dark Souls, all of Bloodborne, all of Final Fantasy 16, all of 7 Remake, Intergrade with the Intermission DLC. Got all of it. Regardless, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. underneath. 